installing a Bruno Mobility chairlift in the back of a 2017 Dodge Caravan. Um, the lift was used, so the only bracket that came with it was this little piece of angle iron. Um, I'm not sure what it was installed in before. Um, put it in the back. It, it was plenty of room in the back of the van for it to fit, but with the disappearing seats, it wasn't really a place for it to, to be mounted. Um, so I fabricated a few brackets. This is a bracket that's going to go right here. The seat belt bolt will go through here. This will come up behind the trim. And then a hinge bolt will go through this so I won't have to drill any holes for this one this will go on the very end of the base um, this bracket is going to go in the very corner right behind me um, not going to have to drill a hole for it either I made the bracket where it will take advantage of a screw that's already in place and then a, a This piece is the only one I had to drill a hole for in the car, and uh, it's up underneath this back trim piece for the tailgate, and it'll just sit about right there. I know. Uh, I drilled a hole right beside a slot for these tabs that hold it down. I've already dry fed everything and it, it's going to work out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting it together. So this bolt here I wrapped a real thin wire around it and, and pulled it through this hole right over here. Snuck the wire up through the hole and, and just drug it up. So it's Let's see if I can get this bracket on without losing this bolt.
on this first. This is just the disappearing seat hinge.
pressure. there, here, and then there. That's gonna work.
top piece has uh, one Phillips screw and then these two little tabs. That's it. That's installed. I have to wire it up. Probably will run a source from the uh, battery all the way back. I'm hoping I can do that inside and then find a hole through the firewall. Um, other option is if the fuse box is easy to locate, easy to get to, uh, and make a piggyback fuse where uh, it just extends the fuse out of the fuse box and has a wire coming off that you can tie on to. So like the cigarette lighter, one of the higher amperage fuses, I would try and do a piggyback off of that. One way or the other I'll get wires. Um, there's a, a route that will go down through up underneath this back trim piece and I could run wire down and out a hole and then run it all the way up underneath the van up into the engine compartment. But that's going to be another time. Here's some slides of the brackets I made on this project while I describe how I ended up running the wires. Started off under the dash. I found a grommet that the hood release cable ran through. I pulled that loose from the firewall and was able to get two 10 gauge wires run through it along with the cable. Um, after I made sure I had enough wire to reach the battery, I added some butyl to the grommet and the wires and cable to keep the water out, reinstalled the grommet, and then ran down the driver's side, running the wire underneath the trim pieces at the doors and behind the side panels in the back, crossing over to the lift. That went pretty easy once I found a place to go through the firewall. Okay, this is kind of out of what I normally do, but uh, I'm going to put it in the category of uh, other stuff. I think that's what I have. Some videos that's other things. Um, I looked on the internet. I couldn't find anybody doing an install of a Bruno mobility chairlift like this in the back of this model van. It isn't for just anybody. You need a welder. You need to have a little bit of skills doing fabrication. Um, but maybe with this video, you might be able to come up with something even better than what I have here. So hopefully it'll be helpful.